Division 1, Brighton a 7th in Division 2. And our commentator at the City Ground, Nottingham, is Brian Moore. Brian Clough's taken his team to the top of the first division and now he gets the Bells Whiskey Manager of the Month award for September. It's the 17th award he's had and the whiskey this time, he says, goes to Forest Young defender Des Walker to help with a housewarming party at his new home. Your play has helped me win this award, says Brian Clough. Well, it's a big night too for Neil Webb. Ten goals from the midfield for Forest this season and now for the first time in the England squad to face Northern Ireland at Wembley next Wednesday. Gary Fleming, the 19-year-old fullback, comes into the Northern Ireland squad for the first time, where he joins his teammate David Campbell. And 28-year-old Johnny Method, Forest captain tonight, whose great performances have earned him now a recall into the Dutch national squad. Well, Forest have not been beaten since the opening day of the season, but now they're without their normal skipper, Ian Bowyer. Gary Mills takes his place. Bowyer's got a leg injury. It's a young side that Brian Clough's put together, but it's also 30-year-old Gary Bertels who's having one of his best seasons with eight goals to his credit already. For their part, Brighton have got a good defensive record in the second division. They seem certain to offer stiff resistance, and they are cheered by the fact that striker Terry Connor, who was injured in the first leg and has not played since, can now return to the side. The referee tonight is David Allison of Lancaster. So Forrest get us underway. Red shirts, white shorts attacking the goal to our right. As I say, unbeaten since the opening day of the season at Goodison. It means they're unbeaten here at the uh, city ground. Brighton seventh in the second division with 13 points. As yet, no wins away from home, but that is by no means as bleak as it sounds because they've drawn already at Sunderland and at Plymouth and at Oldham. shot to uh, charge down Jerry Armstrong trying to get the ball out and succeeds in finding Penny Armstrong Wilson Gatting he's given that to Carr not an easy ball for him to control, though, but he's done well. So here's France Carr now for Forrest. Played for Clough and played nicely off him for Carr again. Using his pace well and a good shot. Well taken. Lovely and maybe the first genuine piece of play we've seen uh, by Forrest coming forward. Nigel Clough playing it on for France Carr, showing a bit of his pace there. And a drive that falls straight to Dickey. Getting Penny away again down that flank with three Brighton players waiting in the middle. Among them, Connor! A good shot for a header and a fine save by Sutton. And that was a lovely header from Penny's cross. And uh, Connor, with four goals already to his credit this season, was very nearly on the mark for number five. Well. And now Mills. Four for Berthels. And crossed in again. And there by Carr. Forrest ahead. Well, they contain the little man for 90 minutes down at Brighton. And indeed for the opening 36 minutes of this game. And he hardly had a look in. A great run down the left by Gary Bertels. Curled in beyond the keeper. And little Franz Carr was freezing in there well Danny Danny Wilson there was looking a little concerned because Perry Digweed in fact has got to come off now whether that will be just to get some stitches put in a wound and whether he'll come out again at half time or not, I don't know but Steve Gatting certainly now goes into the Brighton goal Well, that's a terrible blow then for Brighton. Already this goal down, the goal by Franz Carr. And in fact, there is no chance, it seems, of Perry Digweed coming back because now Brighton are bringing on their substitute, the big defender, Eric Young. Half-time whistle with the tide beginning to turn Forest Way. You, you fancy with uh, Franz Carr having put them ahead 
And then the injury to goalkeeper Perry Digweed, meaning now that Steve Gadding, the central defender, needing to go into goal as an emergency goalkeeper. Well, it's Brighton then who get us away at the start of the second half. And a Forest throw. Forest still leading by that solitary France car goal. Finding Mills, making some good breaks in the midfield now in the second half, Gary Mills. Deflection, it comes for Campbell, it comes for Carr again! Number two. Brighton so unlucky again, except that it was a well thought out Forest move. And a deflection that in the end took it so invitingly into the path of Carr. Good work by Campbell. The keeper just about poured it away, but what an inviting opening there for the little winger. 2-0. And now Saunders. Maybe a chance now for Brighton on the break. Connor with his arm aloft, in a good possession. Terry Connor, he couldn't quite get to that one in his stride, but he's now got more support with uh, two other players up in the shots. In the end, quite comfortably saved by Sutton. With Forest's third home match in 10 days, they'll be quite satisfied with the 16,000 crowd. I don't think they were expecting quite as many as that tonight. Well, when he's in the mood, it is a pretty exciting sight. Finding Bertels. And again, straight at Steve Gadding. Funny old ball, and it'll be a throw to Brighton. Free kick with a foul on Connor. Wilson. was ducking fairly low and uh, Penny's feet were rather high but the Forest defender's header got it away here's Armstrong he went out a little bit of space there on the uh, edge of that box must have been once more Webb to Carr is after him and he might get the better of him the flag is up and the pullback might go all the way penalty as Gatting wins down Pierce and a chance for Forrest to go three ahead no doubt about the penalty the flag was up for an infringement before that but the referee quite rightly allowed the game to go on it was a good advantage that he played and uh, it'll be Stuart Pierce who missed a penalty in point of fact against Arsenal here Saturday before last and Pierce then against the emergency goalkeeper Steve Gatting. It's 3-0. No mistake about that one. Well, there was no mistake whatsoever about the penalty award, and there was none whatsoever about the kick itself. best goalkeeper in the world wouldn't have saved that one this is Webb yes gonna get back from Webb lovely play here by the fullback and almost a dynamic finish at the end of it he does like to get forward and he's got such power in his running and he was a lovely little ball played in there by Neil Webb. And Young just gets back and it's swiped over the top. Both linesmen indicating that the full 90 minutes are up and that Forrest will go into the next round of the Littlewoods Cup. The season really beginning to blossom then here at the city ground. But a lot of credit to Brighton tonight. 
They were disorganized by the injury to their goalkeeper before half time. Up till then, they played really well. But in the end, it was Forrest who won by three goals to nil. Two of them coming from Franz Carr, who was really on the spot when it mattered. The finishing touch was quite elementary, but the fact that he got there was the point that had to be made. And then the third one coming from the penalty spot by Stuart Pearce. So a final score then here at the city ground, Nottingham. It's Nottingham Forest three, Brighton and Hove Albion nil. So an event.